Thursday, August 26th, what's happening to Victor Booth, the famous Russian accused of trafficking arms around the world. He was supposed to have been met by Siri Cho, so mm. far, the Prime Minister's close aide, yes. the so-called wallpaper. Mm -hmm. uh, we are not sure what actually happened in the meeting, whether they were alone, whether there was a third party, whether a lawyer was present, whether Victor's boots wife was there. It's all very confusing. As with about everything in this uh, story, <laughs> this particular question is still very confusing. Yes. Uh -huh. um, Kun Sri Chok himself, he insisted that he was alone mm -hmm. uh, with uh, Victor Booth mm -hmm. uh, when he met him. And this was collaborated by the uh, correction department, uh, the director uh -huh. general, yes. mm -hmm. uh, who said that uh, there was no third party in that meeting. But I heard uh, the, uh, the lawyer. Yeah, uh, Victor Booth's lawyer. I heard him on radio this morning yes. saying that he was there. Right. And he was present, mm -hmm. and in fact, he heard what the two discussed. Yes, and then uh, his wife, uh, uh, Victor Booth's uh, wife, also said that she has a tape recording of the meeting, and which means she was also there. Um, it, it's, it's not clear, but that's our understanding, that, yeah. that she claimed that she was also there. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, so the actual problem is that what did they actually discuss? Mm -hmm. Because Siri Cho uh, was accused by Chetupan Prompan, the opposition MP, that Siri Cho was trying to co-opt Victor Booth into a deal yes. to implicate Park Sin Chin Awad in this arm trafficking business. In the uh, seizure of that uh, North mm -hmm. Korean uh, mm -hmm. uh, aircraft mm -hmm. that landed in, in, uh, in Thailand in last December. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, Kun Sri Cho also, uh, he admitted that he was, uh, he wanted to meet Victor Booth because mm -hmm. of this, uh, the plane mm -hmm. and also the uh, uh, violence on April 10th. Mm -hmm. He suspected that there could be some uh, linkage between these two incidents. Mm -hmm. So he went there to meet uh, Victor Booth. Mm -hmm. that, that's all he, he admitted. Mm -hmm. He didn't say that he tried to, to ask Victor Booth to, to mm -hmm. frame Kun Tak Sin. Mm -hmm. So uh, this he is would, he would never admit, <laughs> he would never admit. Free but, uh, but it would be really naive of him to yeah. <laughs> to ask a foreign suspect to <laughs> to say anything like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. but then uh, we are not sure whether he went as an MP or whether he was representing the prime minister or whether he would did it on his own. Uh, <laughs> Kunabisi said that uh, Sri Chok was acting in his capacity as an MP. I see. So it's, it's okay <clears throat> for him to do so. But Sir Chok is not just uh, an ordinary MP, he is also a close aide to the Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. So everything he said, everything he did, must somehow reflect the Prime Minister's um, thinking. To me, to, to me it, it's, it's, it's okay, it's alright for someone close to the Prime Minister to go into the jail and yes. then interview uh -huh. uh, the suspect uh, uh, and, and ask that kind of question. Yeah. It's okay, but uh, I think maybe uh, Jadupon has gone a step too far uh -huh. by uh -huh. claiming that uh, uh, Sri Chok want mm -hmm. uh, Victor Wood to, to frame the taxi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we are not sure over another question, when will he be extradited? Um, uh, his, uh, his lawyer said that the court is supposed to uh, rule on the latest mm -hmm. uh, US request um, on uh, September 4th. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because the U.S. requested that um, its second charge mm -hmm. on um, Victor Bhutto is dropped mm -hmm. by the court, so to to facilitate the uh, mm -hmm. the extradition, mm -hmm. so the court is going, going to rule on that on mm -hmm. September fourth. Mm -hmm. So uh, after that, we it will, it will become clearer mm -hmm. whether what what will happen there. Mm -hmm. But obviously, uh, lobbying by both countries, both superpower countries, are getting very. Intense. Well, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the top intelligence people from Moscow mm -hmm. and Washington are now busy in Bangkok. Mm -hmm. Many of them might rub shoulders in Pat Pong or Soy Cowboy because mm -hmm. they're all here. And they're all here waiting for something to happen. And it's getting really international now. <laughs> uh, we, we have her story about um, the 
a Thai Prime Minister got sit meeting with his foreign counterpart, uh, uh-huh. Russian counterpart in Vietnam. Yes. And uh-huh. you know, Sri Lanka also has been mentioned mm-hmm. uh, of a possible uh, mm-hmm. connection in this whole uh, story. Uh, so it's not a Thai story anymore. It's, it's an international story. story with a very heavy Thai angle. We shall see what happens to Victor Booth and the CIA and the Soviet intelligence people all uh, mixing around in somewhere around Bangkok.